Welcome to Sound Awesome Films, I'm Rob. We're going to play with the counter, which does exactly what you think it would. Uh, for something called the counter, you would assume that it's kind of like Sesame Street style. The count likes to count, and this is a counter, so it counts stuff. Makes sense, right? Alright, so we're gonna, we need it to count something, though. So I've dropped down an enemy generator and a trigger. The trigger will start the enemy generator. So, we've got target reach. We can go to properties and see how many we want to get to. So I want to make it count to three. When we get to three, we can have something amazing happen uh, when the target reaches. Such as, we'll drop down a party cannon. Party cannons are cool. Right, so there's a party cannon. So if we hook it up and say when the target is reached, we can have some kind of special reward in the form of mm, fireworks. Simple. So, now let's hook up the trigger here. We'll say when we step on it, we'll spawn an enemy. Maybe we'll drop down two enemy generators. Might go a little bit quicker. Or we could just jump on the button three times. Right, let's go Let's go a little beyond basic. We'll drop down another enemy generator. There we go. We'll put that here. So when we defeat one enemy, we're going to hook it up to the other one and say spawn another person. And then when we defeat an enemy on this one, we'll spawn another one on this one. But uh, let's get to the counter. All right. So when we defeat an enemy, we're going to add one to the counter increment bam and now we're gonna go when this one is defeat an enemy that will be another increment so when we defeat three enemies in total we'll uh, get our fireworks and you can reset it so you can send another button to reset it or an action or something so like our, uh, when we reach three we can have the party cannon to go off and then when the party cannon goes off we can reset it so it's kinda like that I'll drop down a victory tracker as well for the uh, decreasing the number. So, right, so we're all, we're all set. We're all hooked up. Now, when I step on this button, we'll generate an enemy. And uh, we'll fight that enemy. And if we defeat it, we'll get one added to the counter. Here's an enemy. Let's beat him up. How's it going, buddy? Just doing my job. So now, we're, now he's gone, we get one. Now, if we defeat this guy, it'll go up another one. Until we get to three. So, let's beat this guy. There we go. One more. And uh, our enemies will keep coming, because we haven't really hooked it up that cleverly. But there we go, we reached three, we got our fireworks, hooray, it worked. Now we'll use the victory tracker to set a, uh, a decrease rule. Uh, so when player one is hit, I'm going to make it go down by one. Since we've got three points on the board now, I'm going to set it so that if we get hit, we lose a point. And then if we reach zero, we can have uh, confetti. So fireworks are for winners, confetti is for losers. So here we go. We say when zero is reached, we get confetti. What a disappointment. So now let's see how this goes. So if we get hit by this guy, we should lose a point. Or not. Let's double check that the victory tracker has indeed linked up the correct thing we wanted. Scrolling on down. Player two. No, we are player one. Let's redo that then. And then we'll double check to make sure it's not being a... Okay, that definitely says that we will play a two again. Player one, let's do it. Player one, select it. And count it down. We want to decrease it. Come on, get on. There we go. So we'll decrease it. So now we'll double check. That should be right, unless it's player three now. But uh, there we go. Player one is hit. So let's do this correctly. When player one is hit, we lose a point. And if we lose all our points, we get confetti. So apparently we got hit twice there. 